Hey guys, Lev here with Trotec Laser Canada. Today we're going to be talking about laser lenses. Trotec has many different lenses to choose from. In this video we'll look at three of them. The 1.5 inch lens, the 2.5 inch lens, and the 4 inch lens. For these samples we're using the standard laser settings, which means we're not optimizing any speed, power, PPI, or special focusing tricks. When you're engraving something, you tend to look at different aspects of the engraving job. This can be coloring, depth, width of an engraving, occurrences that can happen on certain materials, and not to mention the expected outcome we might have. Since choosing the lens can be subjective based on the particular application, we're going to focus more on what is technically ideal to use. So let's start with the basics. Here you see how the laser beam goes through a 2 inch lens. The beam will converge and diverge. The distance from the lens to the focal plane, i.e. the smallest point of the laser beam, is called the focal length. In the case of the 2 inch lens, the focal length is 2 inches in distance. The focal plane or focus point is here the smallest diameter of the laser beam between convergence and divergence. So when you're focusing onto the material, you're setting in the distance between the lens and the material to this point. The distance here is referred to the depth of focus which is basically a tolerance in which the beam diameter will not change much. In other words, if you're a bit higher or lower than the focus point, but within the depth of focus, you will generally not see much difference when engraving. So for the 2 inch lens, the depth of focus is an average of plus or minus 1.5 millimeters or 0.06 inches, which is a total range of 3 millimeters or 0.12 inches. For this first example, we will engrave a Trotec test graphic using the 1.5, 2.5 and 4 inch lens on anodized aluminum. Here we can see the outcome of three different pieces. We can see that the 1.5 inch lens is able to produce the clearest engraving in the areas where we have the smallest details. In contrast to the 4 inch lens where the details don't turn out as well. This is because the spot size is larger on the 4 inch lens than on the 1.5 inch lens. If we would increase the power using the 4 inch lens it would look bold and not very clear in the smaller details. The reason why we have these results is because we are losing energy or it's less intensity since the spot size is larger here than on the 1.5 inch lens. Since we have less intensity on the focus point, you can see that the details in the particularly thinner lines are nearly invisible. They are there if you look under a microscope, it would look like a shadowing effect. We could reduce the speed significantly and you would see the vertical thinner lines, however it would look bold and very undefined. The 2.5 inch lens is showing a result somewhere in the middle between the two. It looks okay, but not as good as the 1.5 inch lens results. The conclusion is that the smaller the beam spot size, the smaller and more detail engraving you'll get. Now let's do the same test on a piece of rubber. We can see the results on three pieces of rubber, and it looks like the 1.5 inch lens is able to produce the clearest engraving in the areas where we have the smallest details. In contrast, at the 4 inch lens test, it doesn't look as good. It appears bold and undefined. Since we're removing the background and leaving the text, it is difficult to capture the different results due to the shoulders you need around each element when doing a rubber stamp. But again, this happens due to the fact that the spot size is larger on the 4 inch lens than on the 1.5 inch lens. In contrast with the test on anodized aluminum, we're not losing thinner lines here, and the reason is that the engraving speed is much lower when engraving rubber. The 2.5 inch lens is showing fairly good results with very good quality, however if you would use an ink pad and stamp paper there's a clear distinctive difference between the 1.5 and the 2.5 inch lens. The conclusion is the same as in anodized aluminum. The smaller the beam spot size, the smaller in detail engraving we'll get. Now let's cut some acrylic using the same lenses. We didn't want to give a specific thickness for this test, as it's the principle we would like to demonstrate. We're not trying to show what exactly happens on a 1 inch or 3 quarter inch acrylic. Here we can see three pieces of cut acrylic. When using the 1.5 inch lens, we can clearly see that we have an angle on the cut. With a 2.5 inch lens, the angle is smaller but still there. If we look at the 4 inch lens, we can see that there's pretty much no angle at all. When we line up our lenses in acrylic, we can see why it's happening. The depth of focus where the convergence and divergence meet is longer on the 4 inch lens. Since we have a longer depth of focus, we can penetrate the material further before the laser beam starts to diverge. The longer the focal length, the smaller of an angle you'll get when cutting thicker materials. We hope you liked this video on the basics of lenses. Please like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again next week.